Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. My name is Connor and this is our YouTube channel. Now today I am in a VW Transporter T5.1. It's cold, it's frosty this morning, minus two degrees. But we're going to show you this Kenwood DMX 8021 wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto solution with a reverse camera. So without further ado, let's spin this camera around and show you. So this is the finished article. We've also installed this cradle here for the customer's phone because they wanted a charging cradle as well for their iPhone. Now let's turn it on and give it some juice. Naturally, we're going to have the VW logo come up, which we fit on 99% of our double DIN installations here. We've also retained most of the functionality on the car. So we've got the factory uh, steering wheel controls working. We've kept the uh, uh, factory parking sensor visualization working, which works through here. So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick demonstration of that now. So Kenwood comes up. If I put it in reverse, we're gonna get parking help appear on here. Now let me zoom in quickly and show you. Now I'm gonna actually drive forward towards that obstacle to show you what these do. So as you get closer, the X's will come up to indicate basic closeness. Obviously, you've got the buzzer anyway, but it's just a nice little extra additional feature that we install. And as I go back, they'll obviously go down with sensitivity. Now, this is the 8021. Now, very popular unit, three year warranty when installed by a premier center like ourselves. But wireless Apple CarPlay is one of the great features. So, no lead plugged in. And I can just hit CarPlay on the screen now, and I can use CarPlay. Now this is an extremely responsive screen, it's a capacitive touch screen, so it doesn't need a very heavy touch for it to work. It's a glide of a finger it works on. We've got wireless Android Auto as well, so if you're an Android user you still don't have to plug a lead in. We've got DAV Radio in this as well, so I can go to the home screen and I can select DAV Radio. We're going to have the radio station playing and we're going to have the favourites on, on the right here. If I push the magnifying glass, it's super intuitive. I hit the magnifying glass and I can just go down all my DAV stations in alphabetical order. And then once I've selected it, I can then push and hold a number like so to save it. Beep indicates confirmation that's been saved. Extremely easy to use unit. It's probably one of our favorites. I've mentioned it in other videos, extremely popular unit. The predecessor to this was just as popular and I'm hoping the next model they bring out will be just as good, if not better than this one. But yeah, we've also got a reverse camera on this, which you may have saw slightly earlier. So if I put it in reverse, the picture automatically comes up. The stereo mutes the volume so you can hear better. And obviously you get the audible buzzer, which is already on the vehicle. But great image of the rear camera. You can just about see the bumper down the bottom here where the um, warning is. And you can see all the way up to the sky at the back. So great viewing angle on the reverse camera and all. Yeah, we use a flush fit fascia. So rather than seeing a trim around the radio, you don't see that. The actual radio bolts in lovely against the fascia and the fascia butts up nicely against the factory dashboard. So really nice fit there. What we've also installed in the glove box, we've uh, run the USB lead. This unit comes with USB-C uh, there, which we've just put an adapter on so the customer's still got USB-A connection. And then the customer's also fitted, well, we've also fitted a HDMI lead as well. Now what the HDMI lead is for, you may ask, entirely up to you to be perfectly honest with you so anything that supports hdmi you can plug into this so amazon fire stick playstation if you really want xbox chromecast apple tv the lot anything you may want to do it this customer obviously uses this as a day van stroke mini camper van so they can plug a fire stick in here park up and basically be watching netflix on this little kenwood should you want to but that's about it for this video it's going to be finalized there it's connor from john cleese car audio signing off see you later